My name is Lydia Branston, and I'm the dining room manager for St. Anthony's. And so my passion is about creating a community where everybody is welcome. Whether you are a donor because you're the CEO of a large corporation, or because you are someone who is living on the street, using injectable drugs, and is shunned by most of society. And when you walk in the door at St. Anthony's, we are all the same. We're all equal. We're human beings coming together to share a meal. When you are someone who has the, um, the luxury of having your own home, going and shopping for your own food, supplying, you, you get to eat what you choose to eat. Culturally and just individually, people have different likes and dislikes. Um, and there's definitely people who will come in and only eat one thing off the tray and then go get another tray and eat one thing off the tray. And this is something that, that both can really be disturbing for, for volunteers and I try and to remind people that this is about choice for that individual. That when you go to the refrigerator at home, when you're hungry, you look in the refrigerator, you're trying to figure out what is it you want to eat. You know, and a lot of times people um, impose on people who are impoverished or homeless this idea that they should be grateful for whatever that they are getting because it's free. Um, but the reality is, is that everybody deserves the dignity and the respect to be able to be making a choice. This is a judgment that people who have privilege put upon people who don't. But because they're here and they're poor and it's free, people expect them to have to sit there and eat everything. No. So St. Anthony's, we do approximately between 2,200 and 2,600 meals a day. Um, and about 3,000 or 3,200 on holidays. The primary um, food that we get is through both donation, because we can't always predict what we're gonna get as, um, as donations. So oftentimes, um, the way that we work with our donations is with bulk, that we have very large walk-in refrigerator and freezer. We also have off-site storage. So let's take the holidays as a good example. In the holidays, we will do a um, appeal for turkeys. And usually we'll get about 5,000 turkeys. Now those are not all served on Thanksgiving. What we do is we send them to our off-size freezer and they're frozen and we have turkey on our menu at least once a week. So the turkey that we uh, fundraise for on Thanksgiving will last us almost an entire year. So that's what I mean by bulk. So we pay for storage um, for the items, but not the actual protein itself, which is far more expensive. I think that the challenges are around the fresh foods. So buying bulk dried food product or frozen food product um, is easy to both source and to maintain. When we're talking about fresh fruits and fresh vegetables, it's a different it's, a, it's different because it has a shelf life is much shorter um, and the processing time has to be much quicker. So for example, we have a relationship with um, a, a fresh fruit and vegetable supply company and they'll call us and they'll say, you know, we have a, we have a, we have a crate of bananas um, that are on the verge, you know, so we can't sell them to a, a, whole, a, real a retailer because they're already ripe. Um, do you want them? And we'll say, yes, of course. Now we need to then be able to get that fruit to the table within a couple of days. We need to have a consistent source of fresh fruits and vegetables. Uh, food bank supplies some of it, and, um, and then other, other wholesalers who are, who, who've got a batch that maybe is a little overripe for them to be able to give to the retailers will also source us with that. Um, but again, we have to move quickly. My dream is to have, at some point, having kind of a relationship where some of our guests, we can go together to collect the food that we then use in the meal the next days. Urban gardens are so important, and you were a part of it.
being a part of the community, the deeper that someone is a part of the community and less just someone who's served by the organization, the more rich the community becomes.